Atlas. And you have no idea who it could have been? I am not certain, but there are rumors of a possible culprit. Tell me who it is. This may overwhelm you, but the rumors say that it is your younger brother, Garwin. Garwin? He was but a child when I left. He and Lord Reynold had some serious quarrels, and he disappeared on the very night of your father's death. We've had no news of him since. Why? Why would he have done such a thing? Maester Harwin, the people are rebelling. Rioting has broken out throughout the town. With all of this festering discontent, it was only a matter of time before this happened. Why would the people rise up with such violence? Well, the lords left the castle after the burial with their fine clothes and all. Whereas the villagers are starving. All of this flaunted wealth must have pushed them too far. Everything quickly erupted. They attacked the lords, taking them hostage. How did things get this far out of hand? One man used this opportunity to unite the mob against us. I think I know who leads them. I crossed paths with a certain Tyrek when arriving. A rabble-rouser, telling people to take up arms. Tyrek? I heard some guards say that he was getting people worked up in a marketplace. Then that is where we must go. Captain Ryman says that it's impossible. Our men are barely managing to keep them at bay at the castle doors. There are not enough of us to attempt an escape. Where is Captain Ryman? He is at the doors. He's the one that ordered the barricades. Seven hells! If Ryman deals with it, the revolt will end in flames and bloodshed. Riverspring has already suffered too much. I must join Ryman. Riverspring needs me. I will not watch our land fall into ruins without acting. Very well. But I beg you to be careful. You are a Sarwick. Act as a liege, Lord Alster. And know that your acts will have consequences. I will do what must be done. I am sure you will. Well, well, look who's here, dear Alistair. What have you come for, my good cousin? I hope you're thinking more clearly than you were earlier. I have no lessons to learn from a coward. Let's not start that again. Ryman, I did not come here to fight with you. What can you tell me of the situation here? We've almost regained control of the southern part of town. My soldiers are about to clean it out. But in the marketplace, there are still skirmishes between rioters and people loyal to our cause. Nobles who came for the ceremony are still being held hostage by rebels on the docks in the northern part of town. Very well. Let's go, Ryan. I want to see this for myself. Really? His lordship would like to see this for himself? Well, then, I'd be happy to accompany you to see this. I cannot wait to see you reason with this gang of peasants. I hope that blade at your belt is not just for decoration. Here, take my flask. You might need it. There you are, Captain. We were about to execute these men. They must learn who's in charge here. These people must have committed serious crimes if they are to be executed. 
They were amongst the rioters. They must be guilty of something. If you execute people without reason, the situation will only grow worse. Allow me some time to question them. What shall we do, Captain? These vermin don't deserve such kind treatment. But fine. Let's see what my cousin is made of. Tell us why you're here, friend. They started it. We just came to ask for something to eat. Shut your mouth, scum. You killed one of our men in the port, and you will pay for that. This guard claims to have seen you at the port storehouse. I was there with the others to demand food, my lord. But I'd already left when that guard got an axe in the head. What is this man being accused of? My lord, this man was seen in the port, where the rioting broke out. And you suspect that he is responsible for this unrest? One of our guards was killed in front of the storehouse. Someone must pay for that. Let him go. Very well. This man was found near the dying body of one of our men. I... look at him. He's pissed himself. You don't need more proof than that. This man apparently killed a guard. Everything leads us to believe it, my lord. We found him carrying an enormous knife. What were you doing carrying a knife? Well, because I'm an apprentice to the butcher in the marketplace, my lord. I use the blade in my work, nothing more. Did you find him with the blade in his hand? No, we found it in his pouch. But the blade was caked with dried blood. <laughs> 